looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now look no further than my sponsor mutt coin bank guys you seriously cannot beat that value i promise use code poodle for five percent off your order what's going on everybody it's poodle back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today i'm gonna be going over the upcoming week of mutt content now guys we have a few things to go over we have some part twos of promos some ltds some increased overalls as well as guys potentially some golden ticket news so i do want to go over all that of course now golden ticket news is one of the big ones i feel like it has to be coming soon guys like i said as of last year golden tickets were confirmed back in like january and we had golden tickets like the official like it's coming by march 6th right like you know whether or not it was the reveal or whatever it was going to be you know when we were going to be getting the limited time tickets and everything that was by march 6th uh, this year would have been this year march 6th so that's what it was last year and that was right before covid guys so that was really bad that was the last promo we had in madden before covid so you know it was it was a fun promo it was one of the last things we did before you know everything kind of went to hell a little bit right but Nonetheless, guys, let's get into this a little bit. But before we do, hit that subscribe button, turn on that noti bell, come join the family, guys. Comment down below, guys, what has been your favorite promo of Madden 21? And what is your favorite golden ticket of all time? Smash the like button. If you guys need coins for anything, head on over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code Poodle for 5% off at checkout. Now, guys, this upcoming week could be really good, could be decent. It really depends. So let's start with the first thing I want to go over, which is going to be the Ultimate Legends. Now, Ultimate Legends, in my opinion, we're getting near the 99 overall ultimate legend phase guys that's gonna be when the game's just like crazy right so look at this right we had how many weeks 97s pretty much the whole promo so far started off as 97s right now 98s we've had one week two weeks three weeks we're maybe a week or so away from getting 99 so i feel like if it's not this week which it may not be it will be the following week right so it will be like about two weeks from today about well, a week and six days to be like exact We'll finally start getting some 99 Legends. And remember, we haven't gotten Dion yet. We haven't gotten, um, you know, Vic yet. We haven't gotten Randy Moss yet. You know, we they were all the fit. They all had the uh, the 50 players. But if we don't get them yet, we'll probably get them as 99, which is super cool. Lawrence Taylor definitely gonna be exciting to get all those cards as 99. So hopefully we do get those cards as 99s. Now I don't know if it'll be this week again. It may not. It may be one more week because again we only had uh three weeks 98s. It is technically week four, so I could see the switch happening, but. I will, but you never know. They may want to hold off a little bit longer on completing the game, right, and getting to 99 overalls. So that was the first thing I want to go over. As far as Ultimate Legends goes, guys, they've been good. Like, Brett Favre's best quarterback in the game. Car Banks wasn't good. Shockey was good. Revis was good. Ogden was good. Randall was good. Harrison was good. This Harrison was okay. Jim Thorpe was, he was good. Derek Thomas was amazing. Uh, Asamoah was okay. Minjo Green was good. Isaac Bruce was good. Cunningham was good. Corey Dillon was okay. Steve Hutchinson was good. For uh, Frederick was good. Uh, Carson was decent. Uh, Brian Dawkins was good. Adelius Thomas was great. So, I mean, old legends have been hitting. So, if we get to 9 and overall, guys, you can only imagine how good these cards are about to become. Definitely exciting stuff to always see. Now, me personally, I want them to get to 99. I love that gold 99. It's going to be exciting because I know that the reason we haven't gotten like the banger legends, like I said, like Lawrence and all those guys, is because they're waiting for that. They're probably going to hold them out for 99. So, that is exciting. But let's move on, guys. So, that's going to be the first thing. The second thing I want to go over, guys, is going to be free agency part two. So if you guys do remember, if it's anything like last year, guys, we had a second part to free agency. Now, this year we had JJ Watt and Prescott round one. Now, last year what it was, we had like Brady and Joe Thune round one. And then round two, we had Byron Jones and Clowney. You know, I know, I think it was reverse. I think round one, we had Clowney. We had Clowney and Joe Thune. And round two, we had Brady and Byron Jones. I think that's how it was. We had two rounds. So it was the first round and the second round. Of course, the second round would probably get some of the later free agents like Kenny Galladay would be a big one. You know, one of, like one of those guys, if we could end up seeing how that ends up playing out. And there's still some guys still on the board, you know. I mean, you know, but Kenny Galladay may end up being a master. Just signed with my Giants, of course. Very exciting. Um, do, did I think we needed him? Not that we needed him, but I definitely think it could go a long way in what we're trying to do in, in New York. Could start helping set a culture. You know, if our offense could start moving a bit. It'll probably encourage the defense to, you know, that's probably one of the problems when our offense is just turning it over, giving the ball back. The defense starts to lose motivation. They actually played pretty well as a unit last year for a very young group that didn't even, like, weren't even cohesive yet, had we just started playing together. So I think there's some potential. But besides the point, Kenny Galladay could get the MasterCard. But yeah, we'll probably get a whole, pretty much, if it's anything like last year, I doubled. So there was two Masters and one, two, three, four, five, six. Six here. So last year, same thing. Now there's going to end up being... Four, uh, four masters and 12 heroes. So it'll be another drop of two of two masters and six heroes plus that to this, you know, add them up and it will be 12 total, right? So that's definitely exciting, guys. Oh, 12 total heroes and four masters will be a total of 16, right? So we'll have 16 new players. 
Now, again, there's going to be a lot of good players. I mean, there's all 96 overalls. And again, the first round, they may not even drop the best stuff. You never know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we even get increased overalls, which I don't think so. I think it'll be 98 overalls again. I don't think they're going to increase it. Probably kind of be unfair to the round one of free agency. But I do expect the free agency part two. I expect a few more things going on free agency. Maybe even just a free agency LTD or something else. I think that would be super, super cool as well. And then, guys, of course, we do have the next thing I think upcoming is going to be another Mud Hero LTD now. The thing with Mud Heroes, guys, we just got another LTD with there. So if we go over to Mud Heroes down here, the Mud Hero stuff goes on till the 26th is going to be the next chapter in the Mud Hero. So that means there's one more week worth of Mud Heroes on top of this week, right? We have this week and the next one. I think for sure we get at least one to two more Mud Hero LTDs. Now, so far, guys, Mud Hero LTDs have been really good. They've been some pretty good cards. Now, of course, maybe the positions weren't picked well, but the stats themselves, like, clearly they're trying to give us good cards, right? So if we go up here to 98 overalls, Yes, the issue with so far has been has been two issues. Jalen Smith, right, is a middle linebacker, which is a big reason why people don't like him. He's not horrible, you know, by any means. He gets 97 speed, you know, he's a middle linebacker, though, but that, that's kind of the problem with him. But otherwise, the card would have been good if we were still using middle linebackers. Next is going to be Baker Mayfield. Now, Baker Mayfield would have been amazing had they given him a power-up. So it was just two things that I don't think will happen on the third attempt here. So I don't know who they can give us as a Mud Hero next. Now, maybe Saquon Barkley, an LTD Saquon Barkley Mud Hero would be awesome. With power up he already has, that'd be perfect. But point is, I think we're going to get at least one to two more LTDs throughout this uh, next two weeks of Mud Heroes that's going to remain. And then, of course, guys, we had Darius Slay as well. So that's the third one. Now, Darius Slay actually is tied for best cornerback in the game right now. He gets 99 speed, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 play rec, 99 press uh, with 83 catching. And uh, 71 catch in traffic, 85 spec catch, guys, with a 87 hit power. This card is absolutely 86 hit power. We'll power it up 87. This card's a goon. This card's absolutely insane, guys. And that is my point here is that these LTs have been good. Like, Darius Slay was amazing. Baker Mayfield had the potential. And the only reason Jalen Smith sucks is because he's in the linebacker. But the card itself wasn't bad. So it's not like they're giving us bad cards, you know what I mean? It's more like the Madden community has just completely dis disowned, like, middle linebackers. But otherwise, guys, this is pretty good as well. I think that's coming too. And now for the final thing is, I'm really hoping we finally get some golden ticket news this upcoming week. I'm, I'm, I have a good feeling that maybe Crayla will at least reference it. Like, there's something coming to Mud, you know, or we're gonna get, we're gonna get into this limited time phase of Mud, or we're gonna be finally bringing out golden tickets, or maybe he just confirms that we're not getting golden tickets, right? I just want word of what's going on because I know a lot of people are excited for golden tickets. A lot of people have already planned, like, in you know, the community, like talking about who they would like, you know, and that gets the word rolling, you know. I really hope. And it's, it's fun, too, you know, because, you know, a lot of people on Twitter will end up getting them and they'll ask some YouTubers for advice. Not saying myself, obviously, but maybe they'll ask, like, Zerk or whatever. And, of course, they'll go ahead and have a say in that, which means, like, you know, kind of the whole community comes together to get a few consensus names that we want. And then, of course, some theme team guys get some good upgrades. It's always a fun time. I just really hope they go ahead and do it. Gives a, it gives the little guy a chance to do something, too, right? Everyone's always focused on these God Squads, but the little guy with the 80 overall team gets the solo challenge and gets the gets the golden ticket he gets to be one of the top creators in, in the Madden community that decides the fate of one of our best cards of the year right so that's definitely exciting but guys that pretty much wraps up today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you're into the channel hit that subscribe button turn that notification bell give this video a big thumbs up as always if you haven't already comment down below let me know which one you're most excited for is it the free agency part two mud heroes ltds is it going to be golden ticket potential announcement what like what is it? let me know down below is it gonna be ultimate legends going to 99 but either way enjoy the rest of your day Hopefully you guys check out my second video today, which will be coming out later today. So check that out. And that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. Comment down below. If you guys need coins, head over to my coin bank down below and use code Poodle for 5% off, guys. Their coins are super cheap. Definitely want to check them out. But yeah, I'm out. Peace.